Hey YouTube, LJ Gamble here with a quick video update on my HHO battery box. Um, just want to go over some stuff I've done uh, today. Just finished the end plates here. You can see them? Got them all drilled. According to the template right here, all good. And uh, the other plate has the holes in it, on the top and the bottom. You can't see the bottom one. And I I tap those and everything. So yeah, there's that. And then I also got my uh, plates all done. My stainless steel plates are all done. See all of them right there. Um, these are the positive and negative plates. There's two of each. And um, the only difference between these are the, where these holes are. They have to be different because of the alternation, the holes on the bottom. And here's all the neutrals. They're all the same. These are stacks of five. So there's five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 plates. Just like I said, so yeah, these are all the same because you can switch them either way. So, yep, there's those. Um, oh yeah, one thing I did mess up uh, two of these. I had drilled them the same; they were all the same. So that's these ones up here. So I just got some extra ones, I guess. I can make them in the neutral plates real easy if I just chop that edge off. So just keep those around. <clears throat> um, next. Uh, what I did is um, in the car I ran I took out all the old wiring and rerouted it all to the trunk so I've got four I had to wrap four wires one is a positive 8 gauge uh, positive wire uh, there's two other ones that are just 16 gauge wire it's for the switch for the relay and the power for the dash gauges the volt and amp meter and then the other one is a phone cable, which is the wires, the signal wires for the gauges. Um, I had already used phone cable before, so I'm just continuing on that. And I want to make this box completely quick disconnectable, meaning I can just, you know, quick disconnect all the connections and pull the box out really easily. So how I'm doing that is, first of all, the positive and negative terminals will be our two 3 8 bolts that will go through here and we'll have wing nuts on the end so you can hook up the positive and negative and then the other, they'll come off the back here to the PWM and stuff. Um, second is the dash gauge wires, signal wires, which, uh, which I'm using the phone cable like I said. Here is about 20 feet of phone cable, or no, 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 I mean a couple feet here. The 20 feet was for running through the car. But yeah, so I got this end here put this on the end of it so I can plug in my phone cable wire right there I'm gonna drill a, or a, cut a square hole this will fit right in there and clip in and then I'll be able just to plug the, the wire in to the back there and then uh, the next one is the power the switch the relay on wire and the um, uh, gauge power wire which is just two wires those the ones that are ran. I'm using this for, as the quick disconnection. This is just a power cable off of an old router I had. So I've got this and then I desoldered the um, this here off of it. Get focus maybe. Yep, this. So yep, that's what I'm using for that. And then so that take, takes care of all the wires. So lastly is the tube that carries the HHO gas to the engine. This is the tube. Um, the way I'm making this quick disconnectable is with this here. This is a quick disconnect. Um, this is a quick disconnect airline. Uh, to pneumatic air tools and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to use for that. Um, this end is going to be. Or well, this end is going to go on the uh, the tube that goes to the engine. Um, this is not going to be on here. It's going to be a um, <clears throat> 3 8 uh, barb fitting, plastic barb. I haven't gotten those yet. They're on the way. Um, this also, this barb fitting will be a 3 8 straight fitting. It'll just come out straight. And the way I'm putting this in, I know where I'm putting this. This is going right in this corner right here. I'm going to drill a hole. Uh, tap it and then uh, thread the bar fitting through it so the threads stick out and then I will thread 
this onto there. And it'll just stick out like that. And you quick disconnect right there. So yeah, that's the all the wiring and stuff. I just got some wire cover to make everything look neat once I start wiring this thing. Um, I've got these set up right here. This is about how big the cell will be. So that's how much room we'll have to put the PWM, the dryer, because uh, the top port is going to come off the cell. And then I'll have a barb fitting right here. So it'll go into there. And then out come the gas, go into the dryer, and go down into the fitting, and then to the engine. Um, also, right in the middle of the bottom, right there, this these, this uh, bottom hole on the cell will go straight to the barb fitting on the reservoir. You can't really see it right there. You can see it. And the, the pump will be right in between there. So, yep. Um, oh, yeah. And then lastly, last thing I wanted to show you guys is my bubbler. I never did do a video on the uh, bubbler. I should have. This is the bubbler that I used before in the car. You've seen it in there if you watch my other videos. But I have made a couple modifications. Um, the old bubbler, which was, I mean, it was this, but the old, the way it was is there was a uh, rubber cap on the bottom with a screw, like, uh, to tighten it. And that's how I had that on there. And I just had the brass filter with a straight um, bar fitting off of it. Now, there's a solid uh, cap on there. It's a, a um, it's uh, glued onto the bottom there with silicone, and I got the center brass filter still in there. Drilled a hole, tapped it, threaded that in there. Thread stuck out the bottom, and I put this elbow on there, and then the barb fitting. The, if you're wondering why I did that, um, it's because the line, this line that will come from the trunk, will run underneath the car. Under the chassis, come up. Um, this will be. This is by the firewall. It'll come up, and if I did just hook it straight into the bottom, the fluid would want to drain. The water and stuff in the bubbler would want to drain out into the line. So to prevent that, I'm running the line um, up the firewall and then down onto that fitting. So the water can't go up and over. It won't go up and over. It'll just kind of sit in the middle or wherever, however, wherever high your level is there. So yeah. That's that's why I did that. Um, I like it. I like this design a lot better with the hard cap on the bottom instead of the the rubber one because it was leaking a little bit at the end there right before I took it out. So yep, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'll keep doing videos. I'll probably do the next video. Oh oh yeah, um, I do tomorrow. I'm getting uh, my gasket material. It's a two foot by ten foot neoprene, neoprene sheet, one sixteenth inch thick, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be cutting on that for a couple hours. Gotta make twenty gaskets, um, so yeah. Um, next video will be this probably the cell to get once I put the cell together because I have all the hardware and everything. So, yep, that's it. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.